You guys love Starship content and we have a major Starship update. First, I'm gonna tell you about SpaceX's plans, then I'm going to tell you about Alien Space's plans. Shuttle has cleared the tower. Hey guys, I got this keychain back in September of 2021, and I, along with you, have been patiently awaiting the news of when we are going to see Starship's orbital test flight. Sounds like it's actually, yeah, going to happen in April. So let's go over why I'm pretty assured this time and also talk about my plans for the coming weeks. Elon Musk teased us with this beautiful video showing Starship preparing for launch, but even with that gloomy weather, the show must go on. In fact, bad weather is one of the few things that could affect the date of the Starship launch. First, we thought for sure the date was going to be 420 because why not? It would totally make sense to accommodate Elon's sense of humor. Then we were hearing that it would be possibly April 10th, which caused me to change my plans and decide that I'm gonna head down there on the 9th no matter what, because even if it's not April 10th, I wanna be in the vicinity early. Now we're hearing that it could likely be April 17th. While people have of course been speculating and trying to figure out when exactly the date will be so that they can plan to possibly come see it, or they just wanna know for general excitement reasons, SpaceX finally tweeted this. On Thursday, SpaceX wrote, Starship fully stacked at Starbase. The team is working on a launch rehearsal next week, followed by Starship's first integrated flight test about a week later, pending on regulatory approval. So it's funny because when Sam Patel gave me this keychain back in September of 2021, I really didn't think that it would take this long <laughs> to get to the orbital test flight, but it is exciting nonetheless. And so, yeah, I'm going down to South Padre Island at the Copa, Copa Cabana. Going down to South Padre Island, and actually I said I was gonna go in my walker. We've graduated to crutches, which are actually much more efficient. So let's talk about SpaceX's mission and my mission as I head down to Boca Chica. This orbital test flight will have Ship 24 travel one lap around the Earth and splash down in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. Elon has said that there's about a 50% chance of success on this first try. He's also been quoted saying that he believes SpaceX has an 80% chance of reaching orbit this year. But we think it's real this time because NASA is reserving the use of its high altitude WB-57 aircraft for observations of the Starship test flight. Of course, we've seen Cameron County issue several temporary closure notices of Boca Chica Beach and State Highway 4. However, in this latest one, we learned that SpaceX will have non-flight testing activities on April 10th and alternative dates of the 11th and 12th. So the good news about going down there early is I should definitely be able to check out the wet dress rehearsal and give you coverage on that. Some of my other objectives during this trip, which I think will be uh, a little bit longer than I expected, but that's great because I've been so overdue for a trip to Boca Chica. And on the way down, I'm going with Joe Tagmeyer. He is a drone pilot capturing the progress of Giga Texas in Austin. He is going to drive us down in his Tesla, which honestly reassures me a lot because yeah, I still have a broken leg. It takes about six to eight weeks for the bone to heal. And I'm just almost to that five week mark. So still have, you know, kind of a compromised leg, but I told you guys I wouldn't miss this for anything. In fact, that is a big part of the reason why I seriously quit my job in TV news after almost 10 years to cover, cover Starship full time. So told you guys I wouldn't miss it. Um, and that is my plan. But on the way down, Joe and I are planning on stopping in Corpus Christi to check out the groundbreaking of Tesla's new lithium refinery. So I'll be making a video about that. The other exciting thing is that I not only have this Falcon 9 model rocket that is actually a flying model rocket from Estes, but I also have everything that I need thanks to a generous subscriber who sent me all of the things that I need to fly this. But I have no experience. I wonder if I could find a pilot who could help me. 
So of course I asked Joe and he said that he would love to help me fly this. So we're gonna have a couple of days before the actual Starship orbital test flight. So I plan to do my own live stream of me launching this. Hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> and you know, I have never actually launched a model rocket before ever. Um, I've never even seen that in person. So I'm excited to witness and experience that. Eric Berger also releases a rocket report. And according to his report, after the final major test of a wet dress rehearsal that could be on April 11th, Starship's debut flight would be about a week later. But of course, this is still pending regulatory approval from the FAA. And like I mentioned before, the weather could be an issue with the exact date. There also is still that hang up of getting the license from the FAA, but Eric has heard from inside sources as well as myself that there is good progress being made toward the issuance of that license during April. One of the other things that I regret not doing sooner, but I actually think it's okay, is I wanted to give you guys more information about just visiting Starbase. Tim Dodd put out an excellent video about this a couple days ago, so I'm not trying to copy exactly what he did by any means, but I've been down to Starbase three times now and I've had many viewers message me and ask me questions about Starbase, including if there are tours and really a lot of this stuff, guys, is self-guided. Um, so I will be making hopefully a little summary for you guys, even if you can't make it to this launch, of course, there's gonna be more in the future, but I think that it would be better to show you this in person when I'm down there. So hopefully I can, if you guys have like questions that weren't answered in Tim's video or just questions that you you wanna ask me about going to Starbase and planning for that, please, please leave them in the comments so that I can give you a um, dedicated video in the coming days because I'm gonna have a few days to make and edit content while I'm down there. So thought I'd let you know that. So I have a handful of interviews that I wanna get when I'm down in the area. My plan is to arrive Sunday evening and then stay there until the launch. So, um, you know, the cats will be taken care of, thankfully, by a neighbor. And hopefully it doesn't take too long because I gotta say, I didn't envision <laughs> going on a trip so soon. But like I said, I of course want to witness this and I have been looking forward to covering this for you guys for a long time now. So we're going, the show must go on. We're not gonna say break a leg because I already did that. <laughs> but uh, it, it's gonna be a great time and it's just so exciting that it, fingers crossed, finally seems like it's here this time. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'll probably be holding a meet and greet down in the Boca Chica area, Brownsville area as well. So if this is something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments. I will post more details because I just love meeting you guys in person and all of the meet and greets that I've held so far have been quite awesome, including, um, one of those meet and greets leading to my second most watched video on the channel, totally random. One of my subscribers named Robert, he goes by Roof Bob with me, showed me uh, one of the shingles of his Tesla solar roof in his trunk of his Tesla. And I asked, hey, I'm still here in Florida for a few days. Let me come over and film a video about it. See this in person. What is that noise? Cicadas. Holy it's okay. Because the sun's going down. Oh my god. Okay, let's up. do yeah. it again. And that blew up to be my second most watched video. So if you want to check that out, make sure to click it above. But yeah, I really like the meet and greets. So hopefully you guys, some of you can attend and let me know if that's something that you would be interested in going to. Well, I know that so many of you want to be at the Starship launch. I asked some of my Twitter followers how many of you are planning on going. A lot of you guys said that I should have put an option of I wish, but it looks like maybe 20% of you uh, should be showing up out of my followers or people that voted on the poll. So uh, as, as I've said, I am not you know, NASA space flight. I'm not Lab Padre. I wanna bring you different coverage, different perspectives with my background in TV news. So hopefully you will enjoy the twist that I bring to the Starbase coverage and hopefully you'll feel like you're there right beside me because I know that is one of the things that you love about the Alien Space Channel is really feeling like you are there with me. So. 
very exciting next few days and I just wanted to share this update and letting you know that yeah oh we're going we're going we might not ride horses on the beach this time but we're going and I can't wait to bring you there and my cat just jumped on my table get out of here Hey, Pinocchio, hey, Pinocchio, Pinocchio, would you go to Mars? Would you go to Mars? You wanna go on a starship? You wanna be the first animal on a star? No. 